Here we go. Better Gwen. I actually am still surprised it's uh, not jumped, man. Only 6K. Only two bids. That's even weirder, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Could have got mixed up in this uh, algorithm stuff. I, mm. I don't know. I didn't even, I don't look for it, but I didn't even notice it per se. It was um, probably a starting bid of 6K. I didn't see it. It's probably a starting bid of 6K. Yeah. And the same, the same guy threw a second bid. Like, fuck, I might not get it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it could be. That uh, happens two a guys lot. Tie, sometimes two guys tie at 6K and the first one gets it. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I hate to say that that seems like a good price, but it kind of seems like a good price. I don't know anymore. Right. I remember right. when when 2K was the jaw dropper. Let, let's not talk about it at all. <laughs> you said it. 1300 <laughs> it's a It's a good buy at 6K. It right. honestly is. I remember uh, when I was told to sell mine at 1500 and I didn't. Yeah. Speaking of this book. I remember the five times it got razzed and none of us bought it out at 60 bucks. <laughs> it's still holding right at right around the 3k mark. I mean, it's, it's bouncing up and down a few hundred bucks here or there, but I, I mean, it is, it, this seems to be the price. I mean, it, how many weeks have we had it here? At least 10 that it's been this 3k zone. So, I, yeah, I think, I think, I think trying to, I, I'll respond to some of the comments we get on YouTube. We're, we're not, we're not poo pooing stuff. I think this is a new era of comic yeah. book collecting. So I think it's just everybody's trying to settle in to understand what the new era is going to be like. So I think that's. Yeah, I, I mean, do. Gwen is coming. It's not, it's not like you're buying on a maybe spec. Like she's coming. She's already here, but she's coming again with her own movie or she'll be, you know, in an, in another movie, big box, blah, blah, blah. And the same with UF four is kind of like it's a BA twelve. It's it is what it is. I mean, as far as the prices go, more power to you if you're if you're buying it at this price. I don't think you're selling yourself short. If you're selling at this price, you're making your money. So I don't think anybody should be sitting here crying about what does we're seeing. Sony ha does Sony have a uh, streaming destination or a, a an approved streaming platform like their their main one or no? I don't. I don't, I don't know. Because I think they took down the uh, they took down the store on PlayStation, so you can't get streaming from there. Uh, so it, it could go anywhere then. I believe so. So if 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 they decided to do a a series, it's pretty much a free agent, unless Marvel. Yeah. Yes. Unless, unless Marvel Disney just says we want it. Yeah, we'll team up and do a thing. Yes. And right. and and also for for books like this and a lot of other books, I mean, I used to make uh, yearly posts back in our G plus days. Uh, we're we're about to hit. If I know, I know we're still in COVID. Uh, so, I, uh, so SDCC and the announcements. I'm not exactly sure where all that's going to land, but all hell used to break loose, uh, sort of, sort of in the summer, and especially about this time is when a lot of things that go up. Uh, people would have, uh, you know, time off work, but uh, go on, uh, go on vacation, things like that, and then there'd be sort of this little bit of a lull right now in comics, and then uh, SDCC would generally be in July. There'd be announcements, everybody get hot for a while again, and things would cool off again. So uh, you, the usual time of year where things go nuts um, is about to would be happening in a month and a half or two months from now. And then we'd sort of really start to see um, you know, more announcements and things. But I, I think times have sort of changed in the buying and selling. I think times have sort of changed with the, the cons and stuff. Maybe next year we get like a normal, a normal schedule, um, you know, and SCCC comes back, things like that. So we'll see. This is unprecedented times in comics um, and I buying think, and selling though, times. I think Papa Disney, though, wants the announcements for their investor meeting more than they want it for STCC these days. Yeah, can't disagree. And we don't we don't really know, but they're now they might save the promos gonna, for STCC. Yeah, yeah a lot more stuff out of that D twenty three now. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah, prob probably true. But I mean. That comes with different announcements. That also comes with a lot of back backroom meetings, wow. a lot of people that because they all convene in San Diego. Um, so, you know, the, there's, there's usually more stuff happening at that time. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Wow. We spoke with John JSC a few minutes ago, uh, and we talked last week about the controversial cover redraw of this book, and I guess it's got it some heat. I, I did a little looking, and about thirty days ago. A decent copy of this book, non graded, was going to run you fifty to eighty bucks. You know, maybe maybe towards a hundred for a nice copy. Um, all of a sudden, a raw copy is three thirty because heat is on, man. 
the so, right legit. timing for an auction, I guess. Yeah, I legit don't know if I have any left, but I'm definitely going to check. I'm pretty yeah. sure the last one I sold was way less than any of these numbers. But I bought like a 9.8 a couple years ago for like 110 bucks. You still got yeah. it? Nice work. Yeah. It's I hardly bus, sell anything. <laughs> Dig it out. Dig that out. Wow. Um, we get we get a lot of heat because I only talk about hot things. Last week, I, this is last week or two weeks ago, I said this is a thousand dollar book. All of a sudden, there's been a flood to the market, and uh, several of them ending in the six, seven, eight hundred dollar range. So even even more odd because this is an old label, which I seem to pe- see people paying less for the old labels now. Interesting. But I guess on a nine eight, you're not hoping for a nine nine, so you want the appearance. I, I don't know. It's it's. Well, if I the think... seller would just put nine nine question mark, he would have at least got fourteen hundred bucks. Well, there's no fire emoji, so yeah. that costs you fifty bucks. <laughs> Idiot. I think. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like old labels are almost gonna morph into their own. If they haven't already, if they're gonna morph bigger into their own market, their own people, you know, their own buyers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't love this label, but I want a red. I like the red labels, so I've got a red label as one. I don't love the the blue label old. Yeah, re- you have a red old label of this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I mean, you can't get it anymore. Just it's more rare than the book, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> that, that may be its whole another thing in ten years. Is what version do you have? When was it graded? I, somebody, I sold the book the other day, and they messaged me. When was it graded? I went. You got CGC access? Fucking look, man! I don't know. I didn't grade it. Yeah. Well, it, well, there's this is a this is a whole nother tangent, a whole nother everything. But um, getting this book regraded uh, was a whole nother story. I don't know if you guys know about that, but somebody had a very pricey book regraded for. They just wanted the label upgrade, and it was a big CGC thing. And maybe guys covered it. I apologize, but it was we can't give you that same grade because it, it's not that great anymore. Yeah. That, yeah. Which is not cool. And a I'm regrade on- or a re slab. They wanted a re slab. If I remember right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Sean, they wanted a re slab and they said no to the grade. And it was just, it was a debacle. It was bad. I didn't know they said no to re slabs. Unless yeah, there I, were I, a reason. No, they, I think they're saying they, they, they regrade the book. They won't. That that's that's kind of what's happening yeah, now. Yeah, they won't honor the, the grade that's on. They're not the honoring the grade if it's messed up, and it and it's just like, well, you messed it up. And right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be serious with you. These these old uh, slabs, the thing's been floating around the country for 20 years. It's it's likely to have taken a a little ding here or there. Right. Well, yeah. I understand certain things, but man, I they were pretty freaking forgiving on the uh, Franken case debacle. Oh well, they had to cover their own ass. Yeah, since they're a coin company, so <laughs> yeah. I I, 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 didn't, I I didn't want to derail us, but it just popped I like the head. details of that. Honestly, good I, job, I, good job, Paul. You. I'll find the video and I'll look, I'll yeah to be continued. Hey, before we get on the next one, I'm going to give a quick shout out to everybody that's live with us tonight. Uh, thanks We're to all our mods out there. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, I appreciate Dollar. Thanks for doing stuff like this. Uh, if you guys, there's a U- uh, Dollar's um, latest YouTube video. So uh, go give him a comment. 100%. This is one that purely I had on my search feed because I haven't seen a 98 come up in a minute. Uh, I mean, several months, honestly. I, I don't really know why I was looking for it. It's not a book I was hunting, but it was one of those like, why haven't I seen a 98? So I was really curious where it ended. I honestly thought it would go higher. Um, I, I don't really know why I wanted to know, but it was kind of one of those books like everything else is going fucking bonkers. So where's this one going to end? Hmm. Honestly, yeah. semi-reasonable. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm getting to the point where, where once the masses find out about a book that a lot of people don't know about, that it just it's going to go up. All books are, it's just like the card world. We'll get into that later, but the card world is the same way. Every, once a p- person finds out about something, it's like, oh, I didn't know about that. Boom. I, I kind of thought this would end around six, honestly. I just, I, I didn't, I didn't have a, I didn't have a gut feeling. I, I had no intention of bidding. I just was pure information for me on this guy. So is this just the uh, first Scarlet Spider? Yes. Okay. 
nothing else like uh because obviously ben riley was in you know the, the regular title back in the 70s right 60s sort of uh, 160 was it ben riley back then his name was ben riley so yeah, yeah I, I think they spider. say it's first Ben Riley, first Scarlet Spider, but I, you know that whole thing is that's when he chooses a name and all that shit. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> change of pace out of the Spider Man world. Ooh. We are talking a legitimate thousand dollars a point here, man. Ninety two hundred for a nine two. Damn, I can fix that shit. I can see it from here. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe why it went for so much. You're like I can, I can press that shit. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, but that's, that's a I new mean, that label. Guy, Who didn't press the that, fucker to begin with? That, that's a that's a I mean, that's a that's a great point. Um, or who sent it to a shitty presser because that's a whole nother problem if you're doing that. Or who at CGC dropped it real quick. <laughs> mm, I'm not gonna talk about it, I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> mm. There's a whole, know. there's a whole, if you're on IG, you're probably seeing a whole lot of chatter. There are some people talking about it, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not happy. Ah. Uh, Star Wars Mandalorian 68, almost two grand for a 9 8 of this book. Which, man, I who this is a I, I like this cover better than the uh, uh, was it 48 42 42. 42. Yeah. So, yeah, I like I like this better, but I like them both. Can't lie, <laughs> yeah. Man, Star Wars is nuts, man. Wood, Woods, are you a Star Wars guy or in the comic world or just a Star Wars guy in fandom? Uh. Didn't used to be, but I, yeah, recently. But I started like late, late, late. I was late to that game. Like I started reading Star Wars comics again when um, the the Kylo Ren series came out, and then started reading back. I just, I just like didn't think it was ever going to go anywhere. I spent so many years not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was too late to like get heavy into flipping Star Wars, and I was fucking way wrong. <laughs> I did like some <laughs> of the Brian Wood stuff. No, no doubt. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Nice. Uh, classic covers are having their day, man. Because this, I mean, it is not a, you know, first Polaris cover, second Polaris. But this is, you know, one of the primo <laughs> Steranko covers. So um, this bad boy, man, 9-4. I... I and I hope he didn't sell. Ozzy had a really nice copy of this that we were debating in that nine two nine four range. And I don't remember what I told him to grade it, not grade it, do something with it. I hope he didn't sell it as he chimes in. Fuck you, brother. I hate you. Uh, um, but man, that that it is a gorgeous cover. Um, it's yeah. way higher price than I remember, but man, it is one of his best works. I remember when I sniped that Thundercats number one nine eight from your brother. <laughs> about four years ago he probably still hates you i mean x-men 50 and 9.4 also i mean it, it it's just gorgeous and we're talking a 1968 uh 9.4 you know what i mean so uh, yeah that that, uh, that dude that's a good buy on a beautiful book gotta agree with that i let me see if i oh I, i'm a little out of order i'm gonna shoot uh this is another one um <sighs> Hulk annual one king size, uh, fifteen hundred for a nine two. Mm-hmm. I do recall it had to be eighteen months ago or so. I was seriously thinking about a nine eight. I was in a pretty big Steranko fandom phase. I'm like, man, I'm gonna buy one. I I, I talked myself out of it. I probably now regret it because I'm sure that's like six k now. Yeah, but, uh, you can't you can't go wrong with this cover. I mean, it's just. It's one of the one greatest of the, covers of all time. I, I mean, if we do a top hundred list, it's it's, it's on the top right. hundred of how many years have we talking about? I yeah. mean, there's how many times has it been swiped? A Good lot. Point. Yeah. I mean, it is it is. I, it's just one of the best. I I don't know, man. You can't argue with it. You hooked me up with that Immortal Hulk, that foreign, the glow in the dark one, one, man. That thing's gorgeous. Yeah. Love it. If you haven't got it, man, get an immortal Hulk trade from Turkey, man. Glow in the dark, Steranko homage. Uh, this is a book that, man, I about five years ago, I thought, yeah, Red Sonia, man. Cause when did they announce that show, right? It's a show. Was being developed back then. And nothing happened for four years. Now, like, all of a sudden, we've cast somebody. Let's go. 
And I think all of us kind of like, oh, that's a good investment. And then it just kind of stopped and like nobody thought about it. Now, oh, yeah, yeah that's where it's going to go. So uh, undervalued book, I think. Beautiful fucking cover. Um, Conan 24, 9, 6, 1200 bucks. I, this is one we all slept on, I think. Unless any of you assholes have one, but probably not. I have three. Like nice ones are... Yeah, really nice ones. They're actually they're in a box right next to me. I pulled them out of uh, long boxes yesterday to start uh, sending Sean's stuff st Sean's way in short increments. And I owe him some goodies, so I gotta send them some stuff. Like goodies. Yeah. <laughs> Another I have one of these cover, too. Man, really high grade. This oh, one is love that too. Freaking nine six of the Hulk thing. Uh, Fantastic Four one twelve a. I mean, this book is one of the other iconic covers. <laughs> yeah, that's king. Love that too, man. Uh, yeah, nine six on that with the black cover. The back. I, I don't. The, the back is it's a wraparound, right? The back is black or, or two or not? No, oh, this is in nineteen sixties, right? Yeah, it's, it's not wraparound, wraparound, but I don't know what no. the ad is. Yeah, I wonder I what color the back they is. They they, they, I don't think it's black. Unless it randomly has a black ad on it, but it, man, dude, yeah, that, that, this cover is a like for anything to substand this time. Like, it's amazing to find a book this high grade with this cover. Yeah, um, so it's t yeah, tough. Great book, absolutely. Good. Yeah, you could even honestly, yeah. I'm not in that great, obviously, but you you can find these. I honestly, I mean, I I found these in bins at, at like twenty, thirty bucks, not that many years ago. Yeah, it used like, to hang out for a while. Yeah, but, you know, and even one, as a kid of the '90s and '80s, I thought it was iconic, and I was like, "Shit!" So I, I mean, I bought anyone you could find. I mean, it, it, it's you know, you got this, and you got the uh, Hulk versus Subby cover that's very similar. So, mm. but yeah, I mean, a book like this at nine six is a is a rare freaking bird. So, uh, there's the Hulk. Oh, repeated because I. Maybe did it quickly. Uh, I did not do this as one slide because I was not clear to Brian. But so I haven't, let's. I haven't heard about Daredevil in a while. I want to cut you off just with that. Like, haven't heard much about Daredevil in a while. They're, they're bringing it back. A lot I mean, of rumors. Isn't the rumor is supposed to show up in the new Spider Man movie? A lot yes. of rumors of that. Yes. Yep. Um, this is this is this is actually one of the keys that I think maybe. I'm gonna. I, I hate to say because I don't have either one of these. Tales of Suspense 39, like you know, first Iron Man, right? Those are the two books that have been when it comes to like, like Wolverine, like Incredible Hulk 181s that have been nuclear, AF15s that have been. Those two books really haven't been nuclear. Uh, man. Daredevil like, has made some jumps, man. You used to be able, like, yeah, even a year and a half ago. Yeah, you know, but I mean, it's not going to the price. But it's not going to stratosphere, though. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's you know a two five to ten grand. You know, what's no, Daredevil but, seven doing then? Daredevil costume, yeah, it's the first ride costume. I mean, that's um, be... it's it's gained. It's not like it's a you know a you know a three or four hundred dollar book anymore. But I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, you this, still is, get this is not a record breaking sale for this grade, I don't think. But what I wanted to point out: note, it's a two five thirty one hundred compared to this sale, PGX two five thirty five hundred. Hmm. Now. That does look like a slightly better presenting copy. The white could just be scanner, yeah. could be whatever. But or man, you got to be ballsy to gamble on a two five freaking PGX like that for a premium, right? Well, I heard. I mean, I heard it's better when they when they trim the edge off for you. That way, it looks better in the slab. <laughs> it does. I you know just what I mean? mean <laughs> I know people that gamble on PGX, but not usually on a premium. I, they're not yeah. known for undergrading. Uh, uh kind of though, like in that old label. Let, let's be honest. We we used to have a friend who used to just buy buy more of these, and there was there were some wheelhouses where they were because look some yeah, I, I know I know they don't the the not, not in the lows, man. Okay, in the mid grades, the mid the mid like the like the like the five to eight range. I know eight's now, not mid, but mid. like they would undergrade their eights, but you know. They give away the nine nines and tens and yeah. Now maybe potentially if you're too cheap to send your primo Daredevil one to CGC or CBS and you send it to PGX, you're also too cheap to press it. I didn't get into the weeds of looking at that thing. Yeah. 
uh, for your for your ancient Virginia double seven, there's a there's a eight zero on eBay and a seven and a half for like the same price, sixteen fifty. So, so you half of that. So, yeah. the same. All right, um, deal. This guy is actually Ugh. coming back a little bit down to earth because there were a few weeks where this damn thing was floating in the seven k range. Yep, which. I mean, listen, I don't want to be curmudgeon and old and go like, oh, that was a thousand dollar book, but it went way too high, way too fast. It three needed to a market. Feel, three to it, four feels right. It, it needed a market correction. I yeah. mean, that's that's not understanding anything. I mean, that's, it could be one of those where none came to market for a minute or not enough. The the people needed it. And once it hits a certain price, enough come and go down. You know, similar to the Secret Wars 8, a thousand was a little too high and the market flooded. I f to me, I feel like this book is like the Skywalker saga is done. So in my mind, I would it doesn't hold as much value in my mind. Not to not to make Star Wars fans angry, but I also get I agree it needed a market correction. But it's also Star Wars number one. Like it's the Genesis it doesn't matter if it's over or not. Like it's Star Wars number one. Like end of end of sentence. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I know Leg uh, showed one off. I hope he, hope he got Man, a good did I deal. Open, did I open that package with an X-Acto knife? Like, Jesus, what happened to that cover? I, pay, I paid a little more for uh, 1.8. Um, from here, mine looks better. I didn't see the sale. Um, I, I, uh, I don't know if some, some of you guys, uh, I, bought the, I bought the Grader's Notes, and let's just say I'm happy with the 1.8. Um, so yeah, I, I yeah, I paid about I don't know another five hundred bucks or six hundred bucks or something for the one eight, but like whatever, man. No. Um, this doesn't compare to a lot of books. This doesn't completely make the most sense to me. This is tough. This is a really tough book. Um, it's one of the most iconic and greatest characters in Marvel history. Um, I don't think just being a fan is the reason I'm saying that. Uh, I know Fat Thor was all the rage for Halloween a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't know if that's his buying this book, but uh, yeah. So I have I have no idea. That that seems like uh, seems like a pretty good seems like a pretty good investment at, at considering what the market is doing. Um, I'm surprised that it, you know shipping was almost nine dollars instead of eight. <laughs> but, other, but other than that, it's a yeah, nice man. presenting copy. That like the it's a nice, nice. Yeah, it's a nice. It's a it's a nice book. Yeah. It, it's a nice book, man. Definitely, I'll probably buy buy the notes on it or whatever. But that's yeah, what you're so gonna get. Why did you tell me a three five sold for ten k, my friend? I mean, Sean was there when I let mine go for, I think thirty five hundred. Yeah, I would. Yeah, but I was like having a beer. I wasn't standing there. I might have pulled out my fucking credit card. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Stein, Stein, a few weeks ago said it the best. If it hasn't been a month, just if you have keys at, at the market going the way it is right now, don't sell. But someone else in the chat, you know, don't sell books you're going to miss or whatever they said. It's it's that fine line at this point in the hobby. It's not thinking I'll sell it now and I know I'll buy on the dip in a year. Yeah, and, and, and not everybody's got stuff like this. Sitting, I mean, most people don't. Most most people don't have these sitting around. I just after like, you know, 10 years back in, I finally I finally got my first copy, you know. Not, so. yeah, like not this. Like I have – I just happened and this is me. I just, and I haven't been serious for that long. I've just always been like the mediocre collector, but I happen to have a nine, eight of the miles in a raw, like some of those books you just didn't think would ever be these astronomical prices are reaching these numbers. And that's what I, for me, that's what I mean. Like don't sell the you, you sell what you want, but I'm just stuff might come around that you didn't expect. So. You can sell it, just don't expect to buy it back. That's that's yeah. Cool. There you go. There you go. Right. Anything I sell now, I assume I'm not getting back. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, man. You know, uh, but pretty much. But well, except Christmas time, people, people get de people get desperate at Christmas, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I, up up down seven in the chats. How long can this market sustain? So I mean, you, you're rolling Market's, the dice every day. Market is fine, man. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really worried about it. There's new investors. Healthy. That's the point. There's new I, investors. That's the point. I'm selling a few things because I'm diversifying and other things. But I, I listen. I I don't 
anything I want to hold, I'm holding. I don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, isn't that the best mantra? You know, buy what you like. I mean, in, as as yeah. diverse as you can make that comment, sell what you sell what you want. You can't go wrong. I mean, you might you might lose if three months from now that book is worth twice as much, but you made your money. So I, as long as you're not putting up ninety nine cent auctions with eBay's categories and <laughs> hey, I, I did it this week, and I'm gonna pull the, the heartstrings of our fans, and I'm I'm diversifying into a new uh, a new podcast room. So just for the people. So, so <clears throat> back in 2000. 16 when I was in my master's and I was using student loan money to buy comics. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bought <clears throat> a journey into mystery CGC 4.5 for 4,400. Oh, I remember that, that was a beautiful unboxing. Yeah, Cause the guy was like, Oh, I'm trying to build a deck on my house for my wife. And I bought it on, on eBay. But at the same time I was remembering cause I was looking at that or I was looking at a 181 nine, two for around the same price. Oof. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. But I'm a, I'm a Thor fan more than I'm an X-Men fan. So I'm with the, the gym that guy's yeah. divorced now standing on his freshly stained <laughs> deck well, to be fair, the, the, the price of lumber versus the price of comics going up i, I it might have been a fair fucking trade man. <laughs> yeah. i got one sheet of plywood actually two sheets of plywood in my in my shed right now so i can get probably a, a, a 90 181 right now so yeah <laughs> oh shoot uh, I just wanted to show this. I don't. I don't see this one up very often. Uh, first penguin cover, Tech sixty seven. Nice sale. Nice presenting copy. Don't need a lot of details. I like it. I always wow. show this book every time I fucking see it. I just love it. Batman, oh. Robin, or an eagle. Full moon cover, black. What do you want? That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. These that's these are the cover. things that probably are still. My theory is some golden age is underpriced, man. I some of this stuff is just too damn cheap. You check out you check out Thursday nights. Me and uh, Mr. Diaz comics are going to talk about that. Yeah, I, I, listen. Every about every four or five years, it, it cycles where so much hype goes to the newer stuff and the Silver Age because it's always going up, and the Golden Age gets forgotten for a minute, and then everybody jumps at it and it goes up, and then everybody forgets about it because it's too expensive. And I think we're at the lull. Um, I want Hawkman format. Back. I just have not seen a lot of high grades hit. We have them all. Oh, that's <laughs> low. Yeah, is it now? Am I crazy? Yeah, uh, no, I mean, what are we not really? Say? 20. I, I, not? I know Hawkman 4 prices real well. Um, <laughs> you an 8 0 used to be right around 900 bucks last year, yeah, so it, it went two and a half times for the grade. The and issue is but there's a Zatanna movie or show coming, right? There is. But <laughs> the issue is it breaks really hard at eight, five, and nine. So hmm. the old prices it used to be like nine hundred for an eight, an eight five would run you about thirteen, thirteen and a half, and a mm -hmm. nine oh would push you into the two Two's, grand plus. Yeah. But yeah. it's real real a lot of increments right there for some reason. I don't it's just a tough book. Oh, it's DC. It's old school DC. We we talked about this. Like it's if, hard high, high grade DC. If yeah. the, if that cover were the same as the first page when you open that book with Zatanna, mm -hmm. that's double that price easy. Yep. Truth. I mean, I, I'm as, I'm ashamed that we we got rid of our DC superstars leg that nine eight we had. That was dumb. That was dumb. But whatever. We made money, but we made yeah, money. Fuck, that was dumb. Yeah, that's dumb. Probably... I should have bought it from you, asshole. Yeah, so I know. no shit. I should have just bought it myself, but I was an idiot. <laughs> I should I should have bid on our auction. No one yeah. knew. Yeah, no one would know either. <laughs> ship to ship to, to Sean's wife. What? Um, my, hey, mycomicshop.com, dude. We could have. Yeah. <laughs> somebody no somebody lie, wants to make me an offer I can't refuse. I got a nine six floating around. So. Oh wow. boy. I don't know what my grade is. It's not an eight. But I bought one years ago for like four hundred, maybe. Look at you. It's not an eight though. I, I can't off the top of my head. I, maybe <laughs> it was the only one that we didn't buy in Baltimore, Paul. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like. It might it <laughs> might be a, it might be a four or five, maybe off the top of my head, maybe. Paul, Paul out here like Frank the Tank during the uh, during the uh, the debate section out here buying Hawkman fours and talking about eBay searches. Guys, damn. Yeah, I don't know, man. I got to make up for lost time. Add my value before you guys just say don't come back. 
All right. So I, I I got a little run here. I talked about this book a few weeks ago because I was like, man, we're buying this versus for Shuri for twice the price. What the heck? I Listen, I'm not arguing that it's not going to be a big character. I, I kind of think there's probably a lot of these fucking in hiding, but probably there's also a lot of Black Panther. Shuri's hiding. But 819, and uh, the bigger point is that this book's come up about 200 bucks since then. So Wow. Thank you well, for at least making them equal because I mean, one has a freaking movie and is probably going to star in a movie. The other is a Disney Plus series, and we don't know what's going to happen. So, do you guys you guys feel it too? The prices between a, a a spec coming to fruition, be it a cartoon or an animated versus live action, right? I mean, that seems to be the deviation of it's coming. It's coming, and then it deviates. In my opinion, it splits at that point, where it's either going to be an animated or live action. Am I thinking wrong? But both of those are free? supposedly live action. But I mean, in, in a general sense, like that's kind of a a, a, a fork in the Moon road, Girl. right? Moon Girl's freaking going crazy. Yeah, you got me there. Sure. I still don't like Moon Girl. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I do like I, Devil uh, Dino, though. Um, I yeah, this is a nice cover. I wish I would have bought it in nine eight when it was what, four hundred, two hundred. Less, dude. I sold my last nine eights for about two forty. Yeah, I found and it's an easy around book the other press, day. But you keep find, I, but like, I never thought I'd kind of quit finding them. I'm not not that I do eBay search for them or you know what I mean necessarily, but like anything I think is very fine or better. This this really this this book loves to get pressed so. Uh, I just never thought it would be a big deal, and yeah, um, but but uh, yeah, but here we are. I mean, I thought it would be a big deal. I just assumed, you know, it would it would float between like two fifty and four hundred bucks. Is what I'm trying to say. Didn't we? Really? Yeah. Another book making a comeback. Alias, man, wow. four fifty. This thing wow. was DOA. Ozzy last year bought one for like a buck twenty five. I was like, why did wow. I do that? So. Coming I think back. It was on. I think it was on the hot list uh, a couple weeks ago, hmm. which was very surprising. But there's talk of her coming back with. I think the other everybody guys. except Iron Fist potentially is talking about coming back. <laughs> is it going to be? Is it going to be Kristen Ritter? Well, Maybe. it's going to be Kristen Ritter. But the rumor is is that they're not going to have anything to do with any of the stuff they've already filmed. It's going to be all hmm. new. Like, see, I love that. I would love if they keep the same actor, same actress, and they start fresh. I'd be, I, I'm fine with that more than if they started new with a new actor, new actor. They don't need to reference it. Just this is me. I think I that bring is back that longer in his Punisher. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, that's just me thinking. Like you could, you could start at zero. I feel I, that's just me. I like the glue. The glue that holds it together is that actor, actress. If they did a good job. I mean, I'm not asking for, um, you know, the original Daredevil actor to come back, for that matter. But uh, I don't know. Well received, I guess. If that, if that. Uh, yeah, she. I mean, she. Sense. She was great. She was. She was just. She was just right for that role. Um, the good. We the the good and the bad. Um, those old. I know it's a whole another topic, but the um, the Netflix Marvel ones. You know, they're not going to do. We we've seen they're going to knock off that twelve that that twelve episode shit. You know what I mean? It's all gonna it's all gonna be like eight, ten, six, something well, like that. And that's what everyone complained about with Netflix, which I get. Yeah, no, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like no, they do. The, okay, I like. I definitely liked the Jessica Jones shows, but there were there were like some redundant episodes. Like it yeah. did to me Luke didn't need Cage to be twelve like episodes. That. Yeah, Luke Luke Cage, but I think the last one was was a little slower. Like they did well. I th- uh, the defend the defenders. You know they did that in six. I think because it probably cost them too much to put them all together. So uh, you know, so it was better like that. Um, so like like the purple man was great, but it was it was just a little too long for me. Like to twelve. Like I didn't need twelve hours of that. Like if, if that's all the farther you're advancing that plot, I didn't need I didn't need twelve hours. But no, doesn't mean it wasn't good. Doesn't mean I wasn't happy to have it. Um, <laughs> take it or not take it. I'll freaking take it. Right. Well, I mean, that's what you said with Walking Dead back when is like, this is what we get. You know, this is, you know, the best we have something on network TV. Like, I'm going to watch it because I this is what we have. But they so, also broke yeah. it up into two eight episode 
kind of seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah little seasons. mini breaks. Yeah, so you basically, yeah, yeah, it's had two seasons at one. Am I the only one that still watches Walking Dead? I, still I, need, to, I need to catch okay. up. To catch once up the, on Fear once it came Dead. back to Whisper War, it was awesome. Yeah, okay. I mean, so we're going into the next season with uh, Maggie and Negan going at it, I guess. Which they took a whole season to develop that, but they blamed it on COVID or something. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry uh, about the zombies. But, we yeah, but I'm weird. I watch. I watch Fear the Walking Dead. I watch the New World, all that. Whatever. It's. I haven't watched New World yet. It's. I I only recently started New World, so I'm only like three or four episodes in on the first season. But there's only ten episodes, so I guess I'm almost done. <laughs> Do you like it? Is it worth recommendation? It's, or it's, it's, uh, from the first episodes, yeah. If you like Walking Dead, it. it uh, I don't think the spoiler it starts. It starts ten years after, mm-hmm. and it's uh, a younger audience. So it follows. It follows. Uh, uh, it's the beginning of it at least follows a group of, you know, uh, basically high school graduate age kids who have only lived in this world for ten years, and they lived uh, behind basically behind walls for almost all that time. And obviously, they're going to venture out. You find this all out basically in the first episode. So. I'm, not yeah. really much of a spoiler there. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so it's fine. It's entertaining. Um, I always wanted to figure out uh, <laughs> what what would happen if I had an axe or a gun and uh, I could just wander around the universe. I like to live <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, and then I feel like it might happen sooner or later with or without zombies. So Right, right. <laughs> oh, We're degenerating fast. What's next? What's next, Lee? Can you just not uh, check? I got a problem I want some audience members to listen to. Oh, okay, I'm... so uh, we've talked about the uh, the cameo appearance 282 going for pretty good money. Uh, 283 is starting to pick up some steam. That's all I got to say. Uh, Sleepwalker. Jesus Christ, two hundred dollar book. What happened? That's all I got. I, I set my limit at two hundred and I went, huh? First time I've ever seen that damn thing there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I don't know what to say about that one. That's I think a drunk, that's, that's a drunk buy. <laughs> that's a yeah, it's drunk buy. That's a my friend who knows more about comics than me said mentioned Sleepwalker. I, Speaking of two hundred bucks, sweet what a weird tooth. Jesus that, Christ. That trailer was weird. You bought that for a dollar. You made some money. Yeah. I do yeah. remember buying one and selling it when the the tr- when the news broke, and I, I made forty bucks and thought I was rolling. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. Freaking Netflix is a powerhouse. Um, this one, man. That's wow. Crazy. I I ran around the house showing my kid. I'm like. I bought these. I wish I had bought more. I wasn't really buying them as investment. I was buying them as like because I thought they were cool. I got a whole set, and I was like, "Man, they're a hundred bucks each from Skybound." Maybe on a good day, you got them for eighty. Um, but for a minute, they were only you could only find twos and threes on eBay, and they were selling about two hundred bucks a pop. And this set of three <laughs> came up Shumble. and sixteen hundred. You know uh, what? I did it on Hoopla for free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh. You know, you know, omnibus collectors are crazy, hard covers and shit. But I will say, all of a sudden, there's like three of them up for various auction prices around a grand. So I, we'll see where it settles. This just happened to be the right guy that timed the market, the right price. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give out some, some, some cooling in the on the windowsill corn bear, cornbread as far as this thing, this type of stuff goes. Is um, uh, Ultimate X Men. The hardcover series one through twelve, one through something, is a is a good was a good flip for me. I think I bought them on another website, the whole set individually, different sellers, yada yada, blah blah blah, and put them together on eBay and made some decent money. So I, hmm. I don't I don't think there's um you know I think I I think there is rather some money to be made on these compendium sets. Especially when you can sell the whole damn thing at once, man. The whole thing at once. I didn't piece it out. I bought it. I bought it by piece, and I sold it all at once. And I think, um, our yeah, our friend my Morgan Comics does uh does pretty well on stuff like similar style stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he found he found I, a niche in the market, and he's done a really great job selling them for a while. Great and and, and an amazing, a great story, by the way. Reading the, you know, I can't remember how many volumes that was off the top of my head, but. Um, that was a good read, and I think I sold at least two full sets. Um, but I, I will say, Invincibles, 
Invincible is the favorite thing I have read in probably the last 10 years. Yeah, I just and- thought it was one of the most well-told things. Beautiful art, beautiful stuff. Uh, if you haven't I- read it, read it. Yeah, you get the paperback watch it. way cheaper. Watch it. Well, sit, Brian, you had it. Hoopla. Love that app. Ho- I, yeah, I Hoopla has uh, 24 trade paperback volumes of Invincible and Invincible Universe on there. Yeah, like it, so Hoopla is – I'll man, I just get excited when I hear about it because it's cool. It works. It's free. It's your it, – My it, most it, viewed video, Hoopla, is it? just hit 75,000 views. That's Jesus. Funny. That was uh, – uh, I first heard about it from uh, Stein. And he was like this hoopla thing. You you plug in your library card and you just get the world for free, and it's insane. And I, I heard about it from um, what's his name? The hair, the brick, <laughs> the brick guy, CBSI guy. Um, <laughs> pretty hair, God, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, who's way? Yeah, who's way? way. <laughs> Sorry. Joe Joe well, you did. You said the correct term was majestic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if you said majestic. I was like, that's so Joe Swagger. <laughs> yeah, man, shout out to Joe Swagger. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I digress. But yeah, Hoopla is awesome, and uh, if you can find that, the these sets sell, I think. And if worst case scenario, you have a really cool set, you know, if it doesn't flip or whatever. Well, I mean, Invincible, you can buy the three book Commendium in paperback for about four hundred bucks. You can also buy uh, they had the complete editions that were like double trades at, at 12 issues of pop times 24 that are much cheaper. This was just the only kind of like hardcover, like big ass compendium premium style format. So, so bringing it, bringing it home, uh, something is killing the children. For example, trade paperbacks. Oh, wait, you want to talk about something? <laughs> I didn't know this was next. I didn't I do trade paperbacks, but funny. I just, flat. I was just going to say like, you know, I wonder if something as popular as this and, you know, the individual issues are out of reach, but maybe the trades aren't. Some of those volume one trades are selling for 30, 40 bucks. There you go. There you if go. If you can find the premium formats early, that's where you go. Cause I, I remember I was reading, I didn't read Invincible until it was in like issue 100. And I got on, I'm like, I got to go back. And I bought the soft covers and I read them. And then I saw these skybound ones. I'm like, that's kind of the, the the nicest format I've seen. I'm like, I'm gonna buy a set just to have. Yep. So. Yeah. Um. Off the top of my head, with my limited knowledge, looking around at my library, uh, Fear Agent Library Edition number oh, one and number two. Collector. Uh, Usagi Ojimbo had like a, a one back way back when. Um, that was nice too. But uh, Fear Agent, uh, beautiful. There's a there's a uh, bone. Uh, has a really nice hardcover collect the whole damn story. That's a nice one. So, uh, I listen. This is my I don't understand book. I'm old man shaking my finger. I try not to do it all day, but number nine variant. I I don't know if there's a key. I don't know fuck anything about it, but I saw almost a thousand dollars for a one in twenty five number. Nine. That's because you got that crossover Department of Truth. Some. Because Department of Truth had that Something is Killing Children variant, and then Something is Killing Children has that Department of Truth. Both James Tyne and both are super hot series right now. No. That's funny, because when I saw this, I'm like, that looks like Department of Truth. No, it's the flame emojis. What are you guys yeah. talking about? <laughs> and no reserve. You got me snorting. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> this is why we brought Simple Man on. He knows it. All right. Last... Yeah, you're, you're right. It's, it's the Department of Truth. Sorry, what's up? What's next? These last four are me fucking going. God damn, this was fun. Um, last week I'd mentioned that uh, somebody sold a copy of this book for 3K, one of our boys on the Global Comics Pride program. And all of a sudden the next day, somebody that did not know what they had listed almost a full run at 99 cent auctions. And the foreign comic community was like in a fever pitch. Big booty Gwen. Mm-mm-mm. This one is the one that actually underperformed because he sold one for 3K. This one, the guy graded it very good, but if you look at it closely, you could probably do a cleaner press and push a six. Um, so somebody got a great deal, but man, somebody listed 35 plus of the non canon run in the same night. So all the buyers could not buy them all. Uh, this was near the end. He listed them in, in numerical order. 
Uh, so this one was a deal of the night. Wow. The Vampirella cover, which is another big one, which has sold as high as two, sold for a, a grand and change. I, a decent, a decent buy. I, this one up ebbs and flows. Uh, this is the sneaky one of the night. The last non-canon issue, number one eighty-five, with a uh, Madam Web type cover. If you actually look at it closely, look at the Spider-Man. Look at his pose. Does it look familiar? Huh. They just made him smaller and superimposed him on a new cover. <laughs> Cut and paste and copy and print. That's fun. Take a look uh, at our thumbnail tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is Duran, yeah. but I will say, man, this book, I have only seen two copies for sale in, I don't know, the five years I've been in the foreign comic community. Um, somebody in the community bought it and was very, very happy. I, I kind of thought about it, but I am, I'm a little bit in a sell mode for a minute for some diversification purposes, but man, this is a book that you will not fucking see again. And the big boy of the night, the premium book that I know my boy Sean has two copies of his house right now because I sent him to press. The wedding issue, a mm. very good copy, sold for forty three hundred fucking dollars. That's pretty good, man. That's sweet. Finally That's getting good. some love. Wow. And very good. Yes, and crazy. I know both copies I have are nicer than this one. Yeah. But one, does one anyone one, know a barber who can cut your hair like that? Because I don't. <laughs> I one like of them Norman. is actually, one of mine is actually the copy that Duran gave his son at his wedding. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Don't fuck that one up, Sean. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brian, I, I see you got a couple images, my friend. All right, so I don't have much tonight. I just uh, I'm gonna end it off with a pretty cool story. Um, but this is something that caught my eye. This is a uh, vintage Tops Beatles, the just the pack, the 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 wax pack that the cards came in. Somebody saved them in their scrapbook, and it sold for thirteen hundred dollars. So wow, that's, yeah, that's pretty freaking bonkers. And I guarantee there's a lot of our parents out there that collected Beatles stuff when we were kids and probably has a scrapbook still lying around. So you might, uh, you might find some of these in your, in your parents stuff. Um, this is interesting. This is the, f uh, first DC, uh, box for the Marvel or the, the, sorry, the first metal box. Sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. Um, and it sold for $1,200 unopened. Pretty crazy. This is really crazy. 1985 Garbage Pail Kids Series 1 box graded. So GAI <laughs> used to grade boxes back in the day. And you could send them in there and they would encapsulate them and everything. They were really A full box? Yeah, full box. So nice. they graded the full box 45 packs at a 9.5. It sold for $27,000. I can't breathe. I would like <laughs> yeah. to have I would like to have that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But it, I'm it, trying it, to look at the picture, like real, what, real, real quick though, Brian. Would you just like, like, okay, so it's a 9.5 box, like mm -hmm. that's it might be the best one, like you know what I mean. I don't know if there's so that means there. that that the packs are probably so. What was notorious with Garbage Pail Kids packs is that the the packs would when they would pack them with the with the wrapper, the wrapper would be like off centered, yeah. and it would be wrapped all weird. So yeah. I imagine they looked at the packs. They made sure all the packs were in good condition. None of the gum had poked any holes in any of the packs. And then they made sure the box was in good condition. And that's 48 packs. So there's 48 pieces of gum in there that's rock hard, right? And that's the problem with, with unopened Garbage Pail Kids packs, is especially in PSA holders. The PSA holders, the gum still moves around, and it'll poke holes in that wax paper. Oh, wow. So this, I, I don't know how well GAI and GAI global authentication something. Yeah, that I don't even the, know who they are. Really yeah, there was like the original pack grader. Nobody was grading packs um, back, in, back uh, in the early days of card grading. GAI was the first. So my Walter Payton 76 top cello rookie pack was originally a GAI pack that I bought and I had it and I had it crossover graded into a PSA pack. So you know, GAI, a lot of people back in the day, oh, I wouldn't buy GAI. Well, people are buying GAI now because, you know, the it boxes, doesn't matter. The boxes, people buy anything now. 
is thick too. Like that's a hefty amount of plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty cool. So if okay. So if it, if it were you, um, or maybe you know anybody's uh, uh, opinion would Grady? I mean, it'd be hard to pass twenty seven grand for this for for a box of GPKs, right? But you know, obviously, there's a few of us GPK fans here. But it'd be maybe worth it to crack those bitches and then PSA grade individual yes. cards instead of doing it, taking it, it like the all for none here. It could be, but yeah. here's the problem with that, right? You're yeah. playing a very weird crazy game uh because you could open this this box and the cards come from a shitty printer that had printed off centered so you get most of the boxes off centered second of that only the you only out of the five cards per pack only three are worth grading because the tops one the top card has the gum stain the back card has the wax stain right yep so it's and you're only getting five cards per pack but here's the crazy thing right so how much is a pack selling for ungraded nowadays unopened? About $350. So okay. 48 packs, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot of money, just not even if, if it was raw, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, talk about cracking so a tough call. <laughs> so, yeah, tough call. It's a very tough call, man. And how oh, many wow. graded boxes are out there? That's the question. I, I, yeah, that's the first, you, first one I've ever seen. Wow, can I get sense. my uh, Garbage Pro Kids Sapphire box graded? Oh, dude. Don't even talk about Sapphire. Man. Why are you always buying cool yeah, shit? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> How about this one, you guys? This uh, another Garbage Pail Kids sale. This is an Atom Bomb PSA 10 sold for $12,000, 40 bits. Yeah. Yeah, these are like $500. What's up? Yeah. Nasty Nick's going for what, like 27 22 Oh, 10? yeah. Yeah, I think they get up there. They're in the 20s. They're in the 20s. Crazy. Crazy.